Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 97 for learning MEMEN system in Django with React.js. In this video, we will perform the student login via OTP authentication, right? In our previous video, we have implemented this authentication in the teacher panel, right? And now we are going to implement in the student panel. So it will be same as a teacher. So I'm going to explain you the process again, the flow. So first of all, we will uh, create a login via OTP field in our uh, student table like we have created in the teacher table. So student can enable disable the OTP authentication for login from their profile, right? And uh, if he enabled that, if he enable the if he enable the setting, then whenever he try to log in, then it will the system will send the six digit OTP number to their email, and after the email verification, he can log in. Else, uh, user cannot log in, right? So let's implement the same process like we have did for the uh, teacher. Okay, so let's verify that we have created this field in our student table. So this is our student table, main student, right? Main is app name, student is a, our uh, model name. So login via OTP, right? So I'm logged in as a trehem user, right? Here we are, uh, this one, right? Let's uh, log in with the tree at the rate gmail.com and password is something. So login. Now in the profile setting, I will give a one more option right so we have already given in the model but uh, we need to give in the serializer also so let's go for the home and django lms lms api let's go for the main and then serializer i'll open the serializer i'll open the view i'll open the model if need then we can use right so let's go for the serializer so here we have a this field i'll copy this field simply copy this field and go for student here we are all right right and then uh, what we what we need to do anything else no and then view right so verify teacher via OTP so nothing will change here nothing will change here just we need to change in the login section right so if not teacher verify then this else this so what I will go I'm going to do I will copy this else option and let's go for the student login function right so here we are right so if not this then we will do this else so in the else what we are doing let's see let's replace this data first then i will do okay this is student id right so student id so if student logged in successfully right if uh, we found the user uh, we find the student then we will check if not verify status then we will then we will give a error account is not verified else if account is uh, enabled via login then we will send the email right and uh, send the otp digit right and uh, response login via otp true if it's true then it will redirect to the OTP page else if false then it will redirect to the uh, dashboard right so in both cases we are sending the student ID because if uh, login then we will set the session if not uh, very uh, if not login via OTP then also we need to send uh, set the session right so we will check we are checking this that enabled or not right and for the from this we are sending the six digit OTP okay so this is our server code now let's go for the front end code right so let's go for the lms lms front end okay and source and component i will use the teacher login here right so teacher login i'll open the parallelly uh, student login hmm? so open user login here we are right so let's see what we have okay so this is our message we will see this let's copy and paste this then we will see how it is working all right so we we need to use the navigate function also okay so i have explained that navigate is uh, it will navigate it will without redirecting it will navigate to the component actually right so let's 
do this okay navigate to specific url all right so uh here we are yeah so we are in the login so yeah so when we send this data if login via otp true then we will send verify student what is the name of the url let's confirm in the urls.py file let's see if we have any verify student exist yes we have okay so verify student if true login via otp enabled it means if not then we will redirect to the uh, student dashboard user dashboard actually user dashboard right and uh, everything else is fine yes everything else is fine okay so and one more thing yes of course we need to update the student profile section right so profile setting all right so let's open the teacher profile setting also teacher profile setting here we have a field this is input field where we can set 0 or 1 here we are hmm? and this will be student data all right student data okay and then login via otp we need to set everywhere whatever wherever we need so this is the form let's let's copy paste the functions copy paste the data actually so copy this and paste it here and we will name it login via login via otp and this will also and uh, and 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 also here okay so set student data use effect it will by default by default it will be here response dot data login via otp and this will go here right okay so let's go to the here you can see that this is showing false you can so you can add false or you can add the uh, zero or one or whatever you want okay so let's add one update data has been updated let's go for the uh, database see this is one right now if you try to log in it should give let's go to it should give the authentication page login yes it is going to authentication let's go to the terminal and here we have a six digit otp copy paste here verify okay yeah this is not working click here okay 404 undefined it means verify student okay this is showing undefined let's go for the login and verifies oh here it should be student id no yes all right that makes sense okay so let's uh, go for the login again and uh, try at the red gmail.com password is one two three oh i'm saying the password all right so now the otp digit is copy and paste it here verify and here you can see that so everything is working we have implemented the login authentication of the student via otp right so it means uh, we have implemented the uh, you know the register and the login via otp right so if you see the first video if you see the first video you can see full features right so let's if i go to the first video of the project so videos lms and if i go to zero where is zero uh, here introduction oh i don't have dot md okay i'll create that so if you see the let's go to see this let's uh, pause this and see the more features and here you can see that the login otp verification we have completed now in the next video we will uh, try to implement the forgot password and change password and then we will see the profile social accounts 
and send message and after this i think everything uh, we have implemented okay similarly we will see this for the student panel so everything is uh, implemented accept message and forgot password and in the admin panel admin can manage everything so it is uh, working well if you log in with the django admin right so yes so let's uh, try to implement the forgot password in the next video so thank you so much for watching this video let's meet in the next video and please share subscribe like this channel and support me as much as you can and uh, if you have any query then you can send me direct message on instagram or facebook okay and after supporting just send me your email id i will give you the access of the source code of the repository git repository okay so that uh, you can also see the future updates right so thank you so much for watching this video thank you